What's up, guys? It's Jay, more than they have to kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2, and it's another episode of my Seraph Weapon and Item Guide. In this series, we take a look at the Seraph Weapon and Items, what they are, what they do, and which DLC to buy them from. And Seraph Weapons can be bought from the Seraph Vendors in their corresponding DLC with Seraph Crystals that you get from the Seraph Guardians. And the Seraph Guardians are Hyperius, Master G, Pyro Pete, and Veracidus the Invincible. And today, we are taking a look at the Seraph Shield, the Hoplite. Now, the Hoplite is kind of like the Fabled Tortoise. It has a huge capacity, and it increases in capacity for 20% by every person in your party that's using it. However, when used by more than one person in a party, it will decrease movement for everybody wearing the Hoplite. And for you solo players out there, this shield will automatically increase in capacity because you're a one-man party. However, it automatically decreases your movement speed. And let's take a look at exactly how much it decreases your movement speed. And as you can see right here, it is a whole hell of a lot, actually. And when you get four players together using the hoplite, it pretty much renders your entire party immobile. So when I put this shield on my assassin and my health dropped all the way down to 7,000, I was a little bit nervous at that point because I thought I was going to be going down left and right. However, I'm able to just jump down into the sawtooth stilts and I felt totally comfortable. I was whooping ass. And combined with the fact that most characters have kill skills that will increase your mobility upon killing or even just for having something equipped, you're not going to notice the movement speeds very much in regular play. But I took this shield over to see what it could do against Terramorphus. And I was actually surprised. I came very close to Solo and Terramorphus with this Hoplite. Even though I was handicapped in mobility, I was still using my kill skills to stay alive, the Ruby to keep my health up, and the fact that my class mod and my skills regenerate my shield a little bit faster than normal, I was able to stay alive longer than I probably should have with this hoplite. So it's not a bad shield to use, you just gotta get used to the fact that once your shield is gone, you are dead. And that's pretty much how it is in Borderlands 2 anyway, because there's a lot of enemies out there that can take your shield out with one hit, and this actually prevents against it. I've actually taken multiple slaps from Terramorphus right in the face without my shield breaking and that will usually break my maximum adaptive shield which has a capacity of about 50,000 so it's not a bad shield to use you just gotta get used to it so my name is Jay more than after kill make sure you guys rate comment and subscribe if you could throw a thumbs up on the video I would highly appreciate that this was my Seraph weapon guide on the hoplite Seraph shield which is pretty much like the Fable Tortoise, except you don't get the added movement bonus speed when the shield is depleted. So, like I said, make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. My name is Jay More Than After Kill. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to see you guys later. This shield also doesn't protect from punk-ass bitches that smack me off a goddamn cliff. <laughs>